Okay guys, looking at replacement of a heating and cooling system. So we've got a 75,000 BTU furnace, 46 inches tall, coil, supply, or excuse me, return air plenum, four and a quarter throat. Um, so obviously we'll look at moving that over, allowing for our five inch filter. It's very important to her for that. She just feels like the dust just never um, changes, no matter what type of filter she uses. So if we're nice and sealed, uh, we won't pick up anything from down here. Um, they've had the ducks cleaned twice, so um, not sure where else I'd be pulling dirt from, but I uh, just want to get into that 5-inch filter. Um, new humidifier. I don't really see any reason for keeping this old one. And then new valve on here. I'll give them an option for a water heater. Um, this looks pretty old. they got a uh, dielectric that doesn't look too good. Flue piping comes over. They do have a liner. As you can see there. Um... Got measurements of return supply. Flu piping should be very standard. You know, it's just coming up through the sides. So we can cut that. Uh, drain, want to get into three quarter inch, drop that into the PVC. <clears throat> that actually runs the length of the basement um, and goes all the way over to the floor drain here. Um, so just want to make sure we blow that out and then put the proper drain in there. Uh, they do have a walkout, so that'll go up and then AC sits right over here. Uh, this is the breaker panel, so this is a square D breaker panel, and our AC is a, looks like a 30 amp for the air conditioner. <clears throat> uh, venting down here, so it looks like we got a return right off of the, right off the trunk line, we got a supply right off the trunk, another one here, so these are probably just being used really for the winter, they're closed now, um, another one in the bedroom and another one right off of here so again like i said i don't think they're needing any of that for cooling so probably heating uh, that's that's what we got pretty straightforward